Everything the same. Oh, got that new front on it. Yeah, hop out in that luxury. Yeah, all black. Can't nobody fool me. Yeah, yeah, nigga know it's sold me. Got on red bottles when I stuck. They call me Belly King. Yeah, yeah, I done got another ring. Bitch, I'm already fucked. Like, where the fuck you mean? In that luxury, yeah, yeah, all black. Can't nobody fuck with me, yeah, yeah. Nigga know it's so me. Got on red bottles when I stuck, they call me Bloody King, yeah, yeah. I done got another ring. Bitch, I'm already fucked, like, what the fuck you mean? Yeah. I got my whole for Beijing, yeah. Yo, so they don't leave me waiting. What's up, you guys, man? It's your boy, Real to Real, man, back in here with another video. Hey, man, say, man, hey, man, it's your boy, man, Real to Real. Y'all already know what it is, man. Yes, sir. Ski. Um, so, right now, today, um, we got a lot of stuff to do, man. I kind of got up late. Like, honestly, I got up all the way late. And my battery not charged. Bro, how did I do that? And I don't even have my charger, bro. Man, I be tweaking, man, for real. But um, today, uh, we headed down here. I'm gonna go to the transmission shop, drop off the deposit to the guy so he can get the transmission built for the Chrysler 300. And um, then I gotta drop my Corvette off at the dealership um, so they can fix this damn water, water leak, bro. And I need an oil change. I'm just gonna tell them to go ahead and do the oil change while they edit. I'm not finna take it nowhere else. And they can do it right there while they got it in for that. So, um, yeah, we gonna do that. I got a lot of other stuff to do, but uh, we just gonna see what the day leads us. But we finna go over here, talk with the guy, um, see what he got to say up on the transmission as far as it. And we're gonna get everything going, man. Um, I just want to say, man, I appreciate you guys, man, for always supporting your boy. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot more lit content coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can't wait for all these car shows to come up, man. I'm just overly excited about them. Um, we do have new merch dropping soon. So uh, everybody stay tuned and looking forward for that. We got some new merch on, going on the website. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm finna take down all the old merch. Um, I don't want to sell no more the old merch. I'm, I'm moving strictly in a new direction. Uh, I'm finna rebrand myself, and uh, we just finna go crazy, man, with with the content and the merch, man. So y'all stay tuned. We got a lot of stuff coming, and a lot more to come. So uh, I know CJ is supposed to get back today. Um, I don't know when uh, he's going to boat up the, um, the C8, the, um, the Z06, but um, so y'all stay tuned for that because y'all know that's going to be epic. He got the same wheels like I got on here, and um, them joints is crazy. When I say crazy, them joints is crazy. Whole different level type vibe, you know what I'm saying, uh, up the concave crazy they went Corleone snap on them concaves I told them whatever wheels they make for me now on gotta be deeper concave like that they got to like shit you not finna short stop me hell no I need my shit deep too <laughs> shit that shit right there is different but um yeah so I got a lot of different things coming up a lot of different more content coming to the channel uh, this summer like you guys when I mention stuff uh, on my channel that don't mean go out there and find stuff or or see what you got for sale and send it to me no that don't mean that so please um, and thank you stop sending me stuff um, to my email stuff to my Instagrams like 
when I'm ready for something, I would look on my own. You know what I'm saying? Don't no one have to do the research for me. You know, so um, I got this. I got this, man. I've been doing this on my own for a long time, and I know what I'm doing, man. So when I'm ready for something, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna find it myself. You know, you don't have to send it to me. And um, please, whoever sends stuff to my email. Stop sending stuff to my email, please, and thank you. But, um, yeah, so we finna head over here by Buckner's, uh, down the street from Omar's to be exact, uh, where the transmission shop is, so, uh, they say they wanted the best, so we finna go down here and see, you know, I hope they got some bills and stuff, he said they be doing some real big bills up in there. They ain't just a transmission shop, they actually build a lot of stuff, so I definitely want to see what they working on, because you know, a lot of people you know, can say they do this and do that but, you know, they could be a GM shop, or they can be a Ford shop, or they can be just Dodge. I need somebody that really, really know about the Dodge brand or I don't have to do business but, I'm hoping everything is always 100 and they know they business they know what they doing and they got it so i just want to see some of their mopar bills because that's what's really gonna um let me know um if they know what they're doing as far as the mercedes transmissions um yes dodge has mercedes benz transmissions in them so guys that was always wondering or ever wondering what type of transmissions they use they use mercedes-benz transmissions um they're computerized and um they withstand the power that you put down with those big old motors that we got in the dodge brand so but uh yeah so I'm gonna catch you guys once I get there. This battery is going dead. I'm glad I did bring my other battery. Oh, I've been messed up on that end too. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. Peace. What's your music? Uh, Lil KJ. You gonna be on my channel now? Yes, sir. All right, for sure. Uh, shout me out. I mean, I'm shouting myself out. Lil KJ214. I'm on YouTube, Apple Music, all that. Okay, okay. <laughs> you you rap? You, yeah, you don't do you? Why you don't you do YouTube? Hmm? Why you don't do YouTube? Uh, that situation right now. Yeah, yeah. No, I ain't got to it. Yeah, I really want to though. Like, copy doing the car stuff. I do. You got a phone in your hand? Yeah. Just turn it sideways and go, bro. Yeah. Right. <laughs> ain't no other reason not to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sometimes we hold ourselves back from reaching greatness, bro. Yeah. yeah. But nice to meet you, though, real. Yeah. yeah, you'll be on my channel. It's real to real. Real to real. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. I, yeah, it's all real to real too. I got you. Oh. All right, man. So we at the transmission shop where they gonna be doing this work on the uh, the Chrysler 300 that we just bought. So we trying to build it for big power. I see some big boy Corleones over here. My dad, that oh. Was the first that he had way back when. And he was slamming it to the ground. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh, I like that. Got the forges, ECL, Chrysler 300 with the same hood. This look like my car. Yeah, mine a 426 with a whipple. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's why I need that transmission built, my boy. Yeah. Y'all see it? You got the floating caps on it. I'm wait. I I I go up there to the dealership to give me another spoiler because he went through a car wash and ripped the whole spoiler off. Because it had a wicker bill on it. Uh, so he ripped it off going through the car wash. Yeah, it looks exactly like mine. Everything the same. Oh, got that new front on it. That's the front that I'm about to order for mine. The European front end? Okay. Yeah. This is the, the newer ones. The newer this front end. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. We actually imported the front end from Australia before you could even buy them here. For real? Yeah. Because okay. that's what I was just looking at because I, I'm, I'm ordering this front for mine. Yeah, you can get them now here. But back then when it first came out, you it was only on the European models that you could get them. You couldn't get them in America. So oh. we actually found a dealership in Australia that sold, that sold them already. And shipped it over here. That's dope. Yeah, the guy had like so, so y'all guys that don't know, uh, this is Allstate Transmissions. This is actually Matt right here. And he's the one that convinced me to bring the car here. So he said he's the man for this job. So 
You know, uh, if anybody, we, we got to beat somebody up, it's going to be him. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> it, 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 it's just humor. Make, YouTube make, humor, man. Make friends, yeah, friends. exactly, man. It's just entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. you guys. But no, nah, man, uh, he, he actually doing his thing. I was looking at your dually over there. It's, it's on the ground. I just yeah. got dually wheels on my dually yeah. uh, like a month like a month and a half ago. I got some 28 Corleones on it. Yeah. Mo and them good people, you know, Austin, you know, those were one offs, they're, they're not out of their production catalog. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the one offs? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Cause you know my dually wheels is one off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it unless it's one off. Yeah, I've only bought uh, a couple of sets that are just production deals. Most of the stuff that I build for myself. Yeah, like, you don't want nobody else to go in there and just go yeah. get it. Cause if you're building a custom vehicle, you don't want everybody to have your exact custom wheel. That was actually the first set of eight lug floaters that Mo ever built. Uh -huh. They actually built those center caps like three times before they got the- Got them right. right. Yeah. Yep. They were cheeky chinky, you know, when, you, when they would float. Uh-huh. Kind of got it all worked out. Yeah, to where they ain't making that noise inside. Yeah. Man, but you got it on the ground. So what are you going to do with it next? Um, the cabs done and painted, that's it underneath there. I swapped in a Chrysler 300 panoramic roof in the cab. Mm. So it's got a full Chrysler 300 roof. The cab's all painted. Everything's pretty much built. Yeah. We're putting it back together now, but we've been so busy with customer stuff that I haven't really had a lot. Man, time. ain't this crazy? And I built how, how the mechanics can only work on everybody else's cars, but can't even work on their own cars. Well, I mean, it just, people <laughs> look at you crazy when, you know, they're waiting patiently to get their car in the And then yours and come out the go, shop all nice yeah. and, <laughs> and so, put together. We try to do everybody's you know in the order they came into the shop take care of the customers first and then i yeah. work on this stuff in my free time mm -hmm. but uh you know between building a new house and and it's no free time there it's no free time that's yeah. dope so what are you doing to this one you know this one's, we're big uh, z body fans yeah yeah so this one uh 60 ls swap is what it started out as and now's a frame off bill and yeah he went and bought some, <laughs> some wheels for us some corleones for this one um, 24 by 12s in the back, so you want to notch the frame. Mm. We had told them that due to another customer, QA1 did, suspension. Yeah, all QA1, all wheel wood, everything's here for it. Um, but we went ahead and talked him into notching the front frame too. That way you got mm -hmm. to do full turn, lock to lock. You guys notch? Yeah, yeah. So. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! You know how long I've been looking? I've got it. We're a little crammed up right now. Oh man. You know, I literally just went and picked up my other car from my shop because they didn't do the work. Yeah. It was just sitting there. Yeah, so this is already got the rear notch done. I finished it up last week, so the rear notch is already done. Well, the That's what I need. Um, I need it for a 28 by 11 inch wheels mm -hmm. on my 87 Chevy. Yeah. Well, my 90 Chevy yeah, we can do Caprice. It. So, you know, we, we can notch them. We can put all the reinforcement. This guy's not a racer. So we didn't, you know, yeah. do all the. This express. is so clean. Yeah, we try to do it. Nice. It's clean work. Yeah. Real clean. Nice welds. Everything nice welds. Everything welded back. The nicer the weld, the stronger the weld. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this one's already got the rear notch done. I'm fixing to do the front notch here probably mm -hmm. this week, and then this will go off the powder coat. And when it comes back, then everything just pretty much bolts on. Bolts so on together. All the new suspension. Uh, we always narrow the rear end last, mm -hmm. so we get the frame back underneath the body, make sure everything's square, it's on new bushings, and then take our final measurements and then cut the rear end one time. Versus oh, so y'all do the rear end and, yeah. okay, we're going to have to get some more numbers off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I, I literally been, I was trying to make this show, um, but it's, it's not possible now because it's, it's like a month out now yeah. and it, it's kind of, you know, hard you know to get it out i don't like putting pressure on people like yeah, that and i don't like making promises i can't come exactly through exactly you know like right now we're pretty booked up as far as the custom stuff yeah we're doing this one this one i need to have done in the next probably 45 days or so i've got that 300 it's getting a full hellcat it's a 427 mm -hmm. stroker in that car um one of the first ones we ever built and now okay. it's getting a full hellcat blower on it oh, so that's shit. what it's here for now it's kind of revamped we had that car on air ride and, oh shit uh, well i'm gonna have to uh Pull, pull him out with me one one day. <laughs> We're gonna have to ride a little bit. Yeah, he's, he's got some nice rides. Um, yeah. We just did a 2023 Laramie. He got the same hood and everything I have. Yeah, that's the second custom hood he's had on. Like I said, this car is in for its whole revamp. Mm -hmm. We built that car like seven years ago, mm -hmm. uh, back when we first started doing the Mopar engine work. And uh, so it's got a Molnar, uh, all, you know, forged rotating assembly in it. Yeah. Yeah, it makes really nice power in A, but he just wants a little more and he didn't want to buy a Whipple. 
You okay. don't want to kind of have that stock like if they would ever made a yeah. Hellcat 300. He's a yeah. big 300 fan. But his wife's got the new uh, Hellcat Durango. He's got a new Mega Laramie on 28s and 37s. Oh, like, shoot. Yeah, he's, a, he's got a cool house. If you go to Instagram and follow him, he's not like a big poster. Yeah. But his whole inside. But of he got a lot of fleet. Man, he got a fleet. Of car. Yeah. <laughs> he got a nice collection. I would have awesome. thought this would have been his car because it's black and that's one black. <laughs> Yeah, but that's dope. That that Regal got all the chrome pieces, chrome like got everything on it. Like they 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 doing their thing. They got never made her. If I had you, were real young. Yeah. So so do you think you would have any open space before like uh, June? Okay, cool. cool. It's this car show that I really want to make. Just for what a frame notch? Yeah, frame notch. Um. Well, I had a shop to do the rear end, but to me, it seems better to do it both at the same place. But yeah. just the frame notch for now, you know, if it's no no pressure. If, if, All right, nice to meet you. If everything, if everything flows pretty good with what I've got in here right now, I would say probably so. Okay. Uh, I'd probably need to get about another 30 days or so underneath my belt, you know, mm -hmm. to make sure I'm making good on the commitments I've got in here. Exactly. Because the biggest thing for us with the custom stuff is getting all the parts here yeah. first. Yeah. And what kind of messed me up with this job is it was just coming in here just for the motor swap. For, for something just regular. Just for a motor swap. That's all it was. <laughs> and he just so took it there. I got the 6.0 built. I got the tranny built. I got the harness. I got everything we need for the LS yeah. swap. And then when the car got here, his buddy's got a Regal that's done up on, on wheels. And, he's and, like, and Man. he got to go so, with him. So we had to stop back up. I hate to ask you his name, but I don't, I don't want to put it out there. <laughs> Cause I probably know them, and, and you know how down here they see everybody cars going crazy, and then they like, no, I'm not finna get left behind. You're not finna be pulling up beside me, and I'm just in a, a, a car that I'm just cruising in, and you got all this bad suspension. And to be honest, we fix more than we build mm -hmm. because there's so many. Like everybody does LS swaps. Yeah. Everybody does this. Every rim yeah. shop does narrowing and. You know, so we fix more. Well, I can't find nobody that narrow. Well, that narrow. Really? No. Yeah. I, it's only a couple people, but I don't go to neither one. Right. And you know, I had a yeah. bad situation with one. Right. I'll never do it again. Yeah. Man, it's hard, dude. I mean, you know, coming from a bad experience with a shop myself, just like recently. The guard be up. It, it be up high. Yeah. And, and it's like, it's kind of... It's kind of more healthy when I can feel calm in a shop. Like right now, I feel calm. Yeah, I mean. You know, I, I feel calm. I feel like, okay, he's about his business. You know, and even being in the business, you know, to be honest, I still, there's still some trickery, you know what I'm saying? Like I, the guy I just recently dealt with my personal stuff. Went over there, the guy was humble. Mm -hmm. You know, everything seemed cool. I'm looking around the shop, I'm seeing the right equipment, you know, I'm seeing yeah. the right things to know that they can do the job they're telling me. And in the end, it ended up being a bunch of hocus pocus, and I get the uh, truck back, and I'm gonna have to redo half the stuff myself. Oh uh, well. So it's just kind of like, man, you know, you want to be that customer exactly. for once. Like, I just want to pay my money. Yeah, you just want to pay just your money. Give me a good, fair price. Yeah. I'll pay my bread. You tell me how long it's gonna be, and I'm good with it. You yeah. know, and yeah. if you get it back, and it's like, man, well, you know. Well, by you being a shop owner, by me being a YouTuber, you know, people on here they think we come in these shops. And say, hey. I need this. I need that. I need that. Yeah. Hey, I do this. Can you cut the price in half for me? Did I come to you like that? No. I just want to put it on on the camera because yeah, no. that's how they think we come to, to people. To be honest, and most of the you, time we don't want people to even know. Yeah, to be <laughs> honest, when you contacted me first, I didn't even know who you were. Yeah, you know, it was anonymous, which is fine because it wouldn't have made a difference one way or the other. Yeah, my price is my price. With some people, we've had some guys that are trying to like maybe build a channel or build a mm -hmm. following. And that clout comes with, you know, they yeah. they want or expect certain things. Exactly. And I get it. I mean, but you got to pay what you weigh first. Yeah, man. You know, you to really me, gotta... I think if I do good business up front, constantly, consistently, yeah. then you may be, hey, man, you've been a good, real good customer. I'm, I'm gonna knock something out. Yeah. That's what people usually do. Yeah. It don't come like right off. You don't know me for from yeah. a bag of shit. You know. You know so it's like, I can't just come in on your establishment and ask for a discount or ask yeah. for a handout. I but can't some, do that. Some, some, some think that, you know, like you got that guy that always comes in, man, I got four cars. Yeah. If you treat me right and hook me up, I got I'm going to bring the rest. I'm going to bring you. In my experience, they never they bring, never the, bring three, the rest. You know? Yeah. 
I would be much more prone to look out for the guy that had brought me for exactly. cars and that I've had a relationship with that never gives me any drama. Yeah. It's understanding if we have a parts hold up or something like that versus, you know, yeah. flying off the handle. Those are the type of people that a shop wants to look out for. Mm -hmm. It's that repeat business. It's, it's that person business. where, you, you know, whether you had a YouTube channel or a coworker, a you know co what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tell us something that, that puts our name in the right people's ear to bring us more business. Exactly. You know, we don't really advertise. We stay fairly busy. We've got a good reputation with the shops yeah. and the people we do business with. And to me, that's the most valuable thing exactly. that you can that's have. Exactly, that's more valuable. You know? Word of mouth is yeah, more valuable than anything. Yeah, because you're not going to make everybody happy all the time. They've got, nope. people have expectations. <laughs> we were just talking about that. Yeah, they're <laughs> unrealistic. Yeah. Um, and you got people that, you know, don't understand that, hey, if I got 10 cars in my shop and mm -hmm. three of those had problems, then that might push yours back a little bit too. Exactly. It's not that we're dipping you're trying. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here, you know, five days. You're just trying to make sure you get this customer out so they can leave satisfied just as well because as you want to leave satisfied. Important. Your car is just as yeah. important to you as a mom is to the car that she exactly. needs to get to work. So exactly. since we don't just do custom, since we mm -hmm. do everything here, then we try to try to balance that the best way we can. And as And I always customers. tell shops to get a self wiggle room. Sometimes when you do that date thing, and you tell them exact date, yeah. that kind of screws a lot of shops. Yeah. You know, it's, I'd say, hey, give yourself a little wiggle room. Yeah. Just so my head can be noticed. I won't overload work. Cause sometimes us as YouTubers, I don't know how it is for other people that don't do it. So us as YouTubers, like, okay, I say for instance, hey, transmission. He said, give him three, two weeks or two weeks and a half or three weeks, something like that. Or I'm just saying a ballpark. Yeah. And then I go to another shop like, hey, as soon as he get done, I'm bring it in. Okay, okay, if it's gonna be ready then, we're gonna have a spot open for you. Right. Sometimes it start being a domino effect. So if I push them back, they get back, push back. Now they mad, they, they don't wanna get me in for a whole another five, six months. And that kind of what it was on my frame knots and all that type stuff right. because I had someone to do it, but I had certain people. Well, this was on another vehicle. But also, but my LS swap took three and a half months when he told me two, three weeks top. Yeah. And I you was trying to juggle. Too about how they are about the money. Yeah. Like for me, I never want any of the labor money until we do the job. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're custom ordering parts for you, yeah. then yes, that money's up front because as soon as you drop that money, we're going to order yeah, exactly. parts. Exactly. Exactly. Not a situation where, like this man here, he drops his money, his parts are all sitting. Exactly. Right there, you know? Sitting right there. It's not a situation where it's been six weeks and I'm trying to BS you. Uh, this yeah. is on back order, and mm -hmm. we don't have your part. Well, where's my parts? I gave you my money. Yeah. Show me like your parts are sitting right here, or your. And then this type of work is going to take longer in a way yeah, because absolutely. it's custom because you have to get your money in that comes in every single day yeah. versus the custom. The custom is like, hey, I got to open it right here, four, five hours. Yeah. We're going to knock this some more stuff out on this one. Yeah. Then we got to get back to what's our bread and we butter that makes our business all go. All of our custom stuff is by the hour. Uh -huh. So we try to bill out a certain amount of hours every week mm -hmm. just to make forward progress. Yep. There might be a week where we're held up on stuff on this end of the shop. Yep. And I'll put two guys back here. You know, Yeah, to knock out guys, something. And we'll knock out a chunk. But always try to keep the work ahead of the money. Yeah. Not the money ahead, money ahead of the work. Yeah, that don't work. Because you know how people do. They take yeah. deposit, 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 deposit. Yeah. And then now the car's about piled up. Now they can't move cars in and out. Yeah. So, you, you know. That's, that's kind of how I can judge it when I'm trying to get stuff done for myself. Is, mm -hmm. you know, what is the shop asking me for? You know, if they're asking me for parts money, totally understandable. Yeah. If I drop parts money and I go back over there two months later and none of my parts are there, and you're telling me everything was on back order, then you start getting that, that no that's so easy. Exactly. Feeling, you know? Yeah. And so, you know, that's really how. I guess the best way I could say to look out for stuff. Yeah. And and look around. Like if you see a gazillion projects sitting around and every yeah. one of them is a major project and they're telling you we can get you in and Yeah, week, you don't know how that's gonna happen. How's that working with all these other guys? Yeah. You know? I mean so, you know You know the good thing about me is what I've seen with you guys since I just been here? You guys have been bagging them out and bagging them in, putting them in. Yeah, yeah. We So were, that's a good I for me yeah. that's a plus. Yeah, we turn out because <laughs> if nothing out bagging out and everything's just sitting on lifts, I'm like, yeah. well, I don't mean, know if I'm ready to get in and out. We're a real shop. We yeah, do ten to twelve cars a week. You yeah, know, and that could be an engine overhaul. That could be a transmission. Transmission. Transmissions are probably about forty percent of what we do. Yeah, and the other sixty percent, you know, custom stuff is really only maybe fifteen twenty percent of what we do. Yeah, because we're not staffed to do a full blown custom shop. See, I don't, I don't want to go to a full blown yeah. custom yeah. shop. I, I want a one. shop that just yeah. randomly do it like this, I where I can sneak in, sneak yeah. out. 
without people just knowing where my cars be at yeah. and stuff like well, that. The thing so. is, is to, to be a true well-rounded custom shop, you need to have 10 to 15 guys on staff. Yeah. You need to have metal fabricators. You need to have a paint. Like we've got a full paint shop mm -hmm. in the back. Like that's all hidden. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah, I got a full paint shop here too. Oh man, so, you got everything. I, I don't advertise this, but, you know. Yeah. Because with most projects that you're doing like a frame or something like that, you need to have a facility where you can do a lot of it. Yeah. The only thing I really don't do here, and I try not to do, is metal fabrication. Yeah. Because I want the metal that's fab. That's what the time consuming. Yeah, frame oh. notch, that's not too big a deal. But yeah. like custom sheet metal work or, yeah. you know, really involved custom fabrication I partner with people mm -hmm. that do great work and turn the work out okay um, because that's the only way I can keep a good turnover mm -hmm. like if I was gonna be that guy I told you I'm doing everything here yeah. I'm doing the upholstery here I'm doing the paint here you know your car would take forever to get done yeah you know so yeah. we partner with you know like even though we do that's when it leads here, to the one-year bills yeah we don't <laughs> do that, you know? like I said you know like having a custom shop for 15 years Mm -hmm. it, it's very expensive to have that many quality guys on staff. Exactly. It's a they are, huge facility. The people are expensive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then what happens is, is you can't ever get that many customers to pay like you can work. Exactly. You know, I did for 15 years, and I was always chasing the dollar. You know, because you have guys in there hustling five. That's like YouTube. A week. Yeah. We're always so, chasing the dollar. We yeah. can spend as much money as we want. Yeah. We're not getting it back. Right. <laughs> so, you know, so that's what it. The taxes and stuff come. Yeah. yeah. Cause we like we want to sell where this money is going. Cause we're not making what you're thinking we're making. Yeah, it's hard. You know, yeah. it's hard to turn over that revenue. You mm -hmm. know, like people don't realize it. Like as a working mechanic shop, you can't fix two or three cars a week and have and expect that good pay, well paid guys on mm -hmm. staff and pay yourself and pay yourself and pay your taxes yeah. and have the, all the city permits and yep. not be doing stuff underneath the radar. You know, it's just you can't do that, man. Yeah. Like you really have to work and you really have to turn the cars out. And if you're not, then something's getting lacked yeah, somewhere. Yeah. You know, some, some, you're robbing Peter Pay Paul on a yeah, customer. Yeah. Or you're flying underneath the radar. You're robbing yourself. Or you ain't got insurance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Nah, uh, you rob long. yourself long term. Yeah. Yeah, because you'll yeah. fail as a business. So. Yeah, we just kind of pick and choose the custom mm -hmm. stuff, and we use it really as fill in because we have to, because we're not a custom shop. Exactly. You know? exactly. We don't take in more than we can do. We try not to get behind on what we are doing, mm -hmm. and we concentrate on the stuff that really makes us the most money exactly. with your cars coming in and going out as yep. fast as possible. Exactly. You know? My type of shop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My type of shop. So, what you guys got going on down here? Um, this is That's the transmission area. Yeah, we got three transmissions going on in house right now. Um, we try to keep at least two to three bays open for the quick stuff. Okay. Um, so, you know, GMC is a great customer. Y'all hear them, transmissions is the quick stuff. Yeah. So come get the transmissions done here. <laughs> yeah. As long as we're not too overloaded. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, uh, but yeah you know, just, you know, we do a, a pretty wide variety of general repair stuff. Mm -hmm. So everything from a little electrical issues to transmissions. We don't build a whole lot of stock engines mm -hmm. just because there's not a lot of money in that. You yeah. know? We do some swap outs. We've got some accounts, some fleet accounts that will, they blow one up, we'll mm -hmm. swap it out for them real quick with a little okay. mileage, you know, LKQ or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for us, it's in and out. Machine shops are backed up. Yeah, so, I know. Well, you know, it's, it's hard. To <laughs> Everything is backed up. Yeah, it's hard <laughs> to do that type of work and still keep a good number of cars revolving through the shop to mm -hmm. make money, you know, because at the end of the day, it's what everybody wants to do is yeah. make money, you know, yeah. so. We just try to do a balance and we don't hang it all on just one thing. And, okay. you know, so, you know, brake job, wheel bearings, transmissions, and that CV axle, you mm -hmm. know, just whatever to, to keep them coming in. And going yeah, out, yeah. Know. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate I appreciate you. the tour. Yes, sir. And um, hopefully we can do more business down the line, man. I'm, I'm kind of excited. When I seen this car with this frame off and you just said frame knots, you got me <laughs> real excited, yeah. you know, because now, I mean, I had one guy hit me up telling me bring it to Louisiana, but he found out who I I was, so he's just trying to bust me over my head because yeah. they think we rich for some reason, yeah. and we're not. We're we're trying to survive just like any other person. We just film for a living. Well, you know, everything has to be, you know, a relative cost to what yeah. you're doing. It's based on time. No, I'm just not a dummy either. Yeah. I'm not a fluke. Yeah. Like yeah. you can tell me whatever. It's on me to choose if I want to you know go through you and not you know you know and i've seen situations where you know because i pay a lot of money for a lot of stuff and get fucked yeah <laughs> and nobody ever sees that yeah you know, the average person don't see that yeah you know like it happens to all of us I, it happens I, to I, me and it's happened to you yeah sure, and, yeah you know. i tell people all the time like it doesn't some people say you get what you pay for no that's not the case no, no more no, not you really. go to a place that still love what they do 
versus someone that's still trying to make a paycheck and trying to make ends meet, that's when you might get bust over your head and then they just want you for one time and they don't give you that quality of work. Well, just a lot of shops are afraid to tell the customer the truth. Like, when no. you first called me. <laughs> well, I mean, like, you first called me, I told you, I'm two yeah. three weeks out, you know? Like, yeah. Real talk, you know? I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't care if you're a regular person or yeah, exactly. the most famous person in the world. You're no different to me that, as a that, customer than the, other than the lady that's just trying to get her kids to school. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she like, need her car for her kids. Everybody's, everybody's important. Is valuable. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So, you know, when you deal with people like that, then you always know where you stand. Yeah. You don't get surprised. And it works out better, you know? And then with me being up front, it's like, I be up front with people. I tell them, hey, this is my business. This is how I do my, I can't have it sitting and I can't. If it's gonna take three months, I just go to where it won't. You know, it's it's really on us to choose our battles. You know, pick and choose our battles. You know, so and, and good business, man. Doing yeah. what you say, and that goes on both sides of the fence. Like you know, customer calls in, they got three or four thousand dollars worth of custom work, and they want to bring you five hundred dollars. It's like, man, that, that <laughs> math don't work, bro. You know, like, it's not yeah. a matter of you being me. Good. I don't like olden. I would have brought you the full amount, but yeah. I know it's. It's like, it's not good for me. They keep telling me, bro, stop paying in full up front. Stop doing it. But it's in my head that anything can happen. Some, you can get a froze bank account, anything. I don't want to hold no one up that's doing something for me. So I like getting it out the way, you know? That's why I brought you as much as I did, because I'm like, anything can happen, right. you know? You know, so I mean, I can go to the house and grab the rest right. if I needed to. Right. Or something. Same way with me. Like, I'm never going to know a, a car in a shop or have anybody do something for me that I don't have the money to pay for. It. Exactly. Not everybody's that way. Like, yeah. people sometimes, you know, and we try to weed through those types of customers because it's just bad on us. Exactly. But I've had lots of people, you know, break off into a ten, fifteen thousand dollar job. Thinking, well, you know, I got five, and if I get my income tax, I got another five, and then something goes south. Yeah, something goes south. You're stuck with the car. Like back when we had the custom shop, I had fifteen thousand. I was gonna say that's really where oh, it starts. Man. Then you gotta put liens on the cars. Then you gotta. Or they fix. here today, gone tomorrow. Yeah. And you can't get in touch with them. Yep. And the family showing. Oh man, I mean, yeah. we did that for years, and I. And then the family them. want the car without paying the bill. Right. Well, <laughs> well, he said he gave you this. But yeah. They said they did that for you. So no. You know, it, it's just, it creates too many issues to be yeah. problems. I got to where, you know, back in the day, I was miserable coming to work, you know? <laughs> because you're looking at the same car. I know that feeling. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you look at the same cars, the same situations, dealing mm -hmm. with the same headaches. I want to come to work and be happy. I, yeah. I, I want customers to come in and be appreciative and be You, you want to get up and go to work. Yeah, like, to work some, to work sometimes like, this type of stuff is... I know it's a hard job at, at yeah. times, but me working on cars or building on cars, fixing on my own car, it's like a stress reliever for me. Well, you know? it can be until it becomes nothing but headaches. Exactly. It's supposed to be enjoyable. It's supposed to I be. I get to knocking my hands off crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nicking, bleeding. And I can't get to that one. My arm is stuck. It's, it's sore from that one spot of trying to get in. We got a lot of customers that are doing it yourself, you know, and they yeah. come up here for maybe a tip or help with some parts or something like that. And we don't mind helping well, them. Well, I, I tip you the cash to go do the work. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it no more, man. I got to the point of life where I don't want I don't want to touch my own vehicles hey, no man, more. I'm, I'm kind of there too. You do this stuff all day, every day. Yeah. It's not as much fun in your off time. Exactly. You're looking for other hobbies yep. to get your relaxation yep. from. You know, yep. when I was younger, when I was my son's age, I lived this stuff. Man, me too. Or seven. I, <laughs> if, if I wasn't at work, I was in the garage, or the driveway, mm -hmm. you know, doing it or whatever. As you get older and you do this 40, 50 hours a week, and when it comes to that off time, you find your passion in You, you want to go somewhere yeah. else, yeah. I, I like going to the show and admiring other people's work uh -huh. and, and going to other friends of mine's shop and looking at what they're building and what they're working on. You know, that's, that's One cool show that I think you should make it to, and I, I mean, um, I see you, you hip to all cultures yeah. and, and, and all everybody's build. Rick Ross Car Show has some of the Man. best cars in the world I saw, there. I saw the, and know, everyone who it. didn't go regretted it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a guy I've never met in person. So much network down in Houston. He's a big car guy, Lynn. Yeah, I, Lynn, I'm Lynn. That's fan. one of my good I'm friends. A big fan of Lynn. Uh, I got some friends in Houston that know. I go to Circle Hut every time I go down. And uh, you know, the the passion is evident. You know, mm -hmm. 
uh, the guys down in Florida with the Mercedes, the Patina Collective guys. Yeah, they're doing, yeah. You know? So, you know, I've never been like a big YouTube follower or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in the last few years, I've found things that piqued my interest. Exactly. So I, I That's why I and, tell people, yeah. YouTube yeah. is the new everything. Well, because if you it. wasn't watching YouTube or you watching regular TV, everyone in the world watch YouTube yeah. right now well, from like one year olds and up. Mm -hmm. Without like, I don't care about watching car shows anymore. Exactly. Come on, they're so cookie cutter. Everybody's doing the same thing. How yeah. crazy can I do this? And then it gives people a really bad perception of how exactly. long it takes to build something. Yeah. Because it's it's TV. They they thinking you know? oh they they gave me this deadline of seven days to build this yeah. car in full and do all this work yeah. overhauling in seven days. Yeah. So they thinking oh well I can go in the shop and get mine done in seven days. Like I got thirty people on camera, but they don't see when the camera's off when 30 more people come to show up to help them on their bill. Yeah. <laughs> and then you see these really talented shops before they had their own TV show mm -hmm. and the work they put out. Yeah. And then you go look at these bills that they're doing mm -hmm. on the TV show. Yeah. The quality is nowhere near the same. Once you it's, see it in it's, person. It's, uh, it's all for TV. It's not, if you see the car in person, you're like, wow, they did that? They did like, that, yeah. Ooh, you know, come on, man. But, you know, teach I've seen own. a lot up here, and I mean, you know, I don't yeah. put no names out there, but I've seen uh, a couple that was like, oh, oh heck, this don't look like the TV show. <laughs> and like I said, and it's not really necessarily that's what that shop is capable of or that's the kind of work they turn out, but they do make those sacrifices for the TV show. Mm -hmm. And I get it. You know, everybody's trying to get paid, you know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, get your money, get your bag, whatever. But, you know, I just have gotten to the point All where, publicity ain't good publicity, nah, but... Man. You Some know. publicity can be the best publicity. Well, the thing about, the thing about it is you got to realize that that is TV. Like, that yeah. is not reality. You can't get quality work in that kind of time frame. It just doesn't happen. So, you know, as long as you keep that in perspective, you mm -hmm. know, it's cool. It's TV. It's made yeah. for entertainment, you know. Entertainment. The, the, the real world reality is nothing. I don't know. The three-sided triangle has a go. It's, if it's, it's cheap and it's fast, it's probably not good. Mm -hmm. And if it's good and it's fast, it's probably not cheap. cheap. You know, yeah. like you, you don't yeah. get it all, all the way around. Oh, uh, yeah. So. But sometimes you can. Yeah, I guess. Sometimes you can. I, I've never been personally lucky enough to figure that out. Man, because I mean, me on the, the transmission, that's why I always bragged on the guy. Right. Because he done it fast as hell. Right. But it wasn't cheap. No, yeah. it, it, it really wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't cheap. You're going to give up something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now that I think of what you just said, it's kind of true because that yeah. really wasn't cheap because yeah. he did it fast overnight type. Yeah. Got an old school dually right there. Look like he on some nice wheels too. And golly, they going to mess up the whole situation. China. See that thing? Oh, that joint nice too. Man, all this traffic, bro. It ain't even four o'clock or five o'clock yet. They ain't they always got traffic up here, bro? Always, always traffic, man. That's that's nuts, bro. Alright y'all man, if I can get up close to him, I'll come back on the camera. If not, then I'll see y'all at the next destination. There it is. You got the magic steering wheel and everything. So nasty. <laughs> Big dually game. One hour later. Alright, I just uh dropped off the car over there. 
What's that one thing that was up in there? That lady up in there. Nah, man, I think, I don't know. Uh, I ain't seen nothing yesterday either, but look at her. You already looking. <laughs> she already looking crazy. She said if I don't speak to her, uh, she gonna beat me up. Hey, young lady, don't beat me up. Hello, darling. How you doing? How are you? <laughs> All right. What are you doing in here? Oh, I was dropping off my car again. Oh, okay. Yeah, for the same thing. Yeah, yeah I know. That's you said good. that last time, didn't you? Mm -hmm. You was like, you gonna be back. <laughs> I did, I did. I guess you gonna listen to me now, huh? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I was just coming in to speak. Well, I appreciate it. I ain't want you to say I ain't come in and speak. I spoke to her yesterday, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I saw her yesterday. I'm glad I left a good impression. Yeah, you did. You did. Uh -huh. Y'all have a good one now. All right. All right. She got this side-by-side -side thing over there. Uh, let me get, get me an Uber the next day. All right, y'all, man. So, oh, dang. I need a battery real quick. Uh, I ain't even bring out my other. I ain't even bring out my other keys, man. Golly. Let me go grab these other keys. Uh, man, your boy's so blessed, bro. Y'all don't even understand, bro. Y'all don't even understand, man. What the heck, my other keys? Uh, crazy, huh? Uh, I gotta get my batteries up out the doggone truck, man. Gotta get them out the truck. Uh, gotta get them out the truck. Look at her bad self. I ain't got nothing going. She ain't got nothing going. Look bad self. Sorry about the wind noise, man. It's a little bit windy today. Uh, I just want to let you guys know the updates and everything. On the 300, the Whipple, the 426 Whipple Supercharged build. The um, Wish a Nigga Wood package. The Wish a Nigga Wood build, you know what I'm saying? That's what this one called, man. We ain't got no name for this one. This the Wish a Nigga Wood Bill. <laughs> Come on, man. What the heck? Dior, come on. Dior, get over here. She be tripping. Yeah, she be tripping. But yeah, man, sometimes, man, I just, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I get in my moments and I be like, I'm really blessed, bro. Like, all honesty, I'm really, really, truly blessed, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, truly blessed, bro. Like, all honesty, y'all don't even understand, man. Yeah, all honesty, y'all just really don't understand how blessed your boy is. Um, spoiler got shipped out today. This is the update on the 300. Spoiler. Spoiler got shipped out today. Um, as y'all see, yeah, it broke the spoiler off. And uh, I just bought a new one. But when I bought the car, he gave me the old one with the wicker bill. Oh, he gave me the old one with the wicker bill. I ain't putting the wicker bill back on, but I mean, whoever win the car, if they want the wicker bill, they can get it. I ain't gonna have no use for it. I sure don't want it. I ain't putting no wicker bill back on here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. Then got the USB ports and everything back there. I told y'all I got the TVs in the headrest. Alcaterra interior. Got that Alcaterra in this thing. Alcaterra in that leather. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? 
Yes, sir. Y'all yeah, see what's going on. And, um, uh, what is you doing? Looking for them little dogs. You not finna be beating up on them little dogs. Oh. Uh, so, I got all this stuff right here. All this stuff right here. This carbon fiber piece. I got this carbon fiber piece. This carbon fiber piece. I got this carbon fiber piece. This carbon fiber piece. I got that carbon fiber piece. I got that one. That one. I got all the carbon fiber that comes up. I got all that brand new. Um, I get some of the pieces today. I get some tomorrow and I get some next week. Um, the carbon fiber pieces, I got this one. You know what I'm saying? Got that one. Um, I got all that brand new already coming to me right now. Um, they just said they shipped it out. So I got all that coming. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we got the spoiler coming. I ordered all that. So um, hopefully it'll get here in a timely manner. You feel me? Hopefully it'll get here in a timely manner. But um, yeah, man, I want to hear this thing, man. I ain't heard it in a couple days, in about three days. I ain't, I ain't heard it. Let me start it up. like that cold start. Sounds so good, boy. Sounds too good. I gotta make sure I check the oil, the coolant, all that stuff, man. For you guys that didn't check up on the bill, a lot of people are like, when did you get a 300? I'm behind. Yeah, you always behind. Cause I ain't just got a 300. This ain't just one of them regular 300s, my boy. That whip a supercharged 300, my boy. Yeah. That nitrous outlet on there, my boy. Stop playing with me. I do got to, uh, I'm going to rinse up under the hood, spray everything down. Get it back clean. I told y'all it was just sitting in the garage and stuff. And man, I'm gonna clean everything up, man. Make it back shiny and brand new up under there. Y'all know I'm gonna get my guy Carter Care to go all the way through this joint. I'm gonna get it back cleaned up. Yes, sir. I whip a nigga wood. I whip a nigga wood. So who ready for that 300 giveaway, man? Y'all see on the video, we got the 
uh, transmission order. Uh, waiting for it to come in. Once it come in, man, we dropping the car off at the shop and we are uh, getting that thing slapped in immediately. So who ready for that 300 SRT8 426 Whipple Supercharged giveaway, bro? Y'all know me, I build as I go and I'm gonna continue to do it that way because that's the way I love to do it. Because I like to show you guys the process and then the ending results. You know what I'm saying? So um, y'all know we're going crazy with this one. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if I don't have my design uh, for my merch back uh, in a timely manner, then we're going to do it the regular way. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do the giveaways the regular way. We always do it. But uh, I'd rather do it on the merch site. But, you know, if I can't, I can't. Because um, I'm not going to let nobody hold me up from the bill and uh, this bill is really important to me um, because it makes me be back in that feeling like I'm in a Hellcat you know what I'm saying and it's just it's one of them bills that I just love doing you know it's a new platform for me even though it's the steel the Dodge brand, it's just a new platform for me because I never built a 300 before. So, like I said, I got a lot of plans for this one. And, uh, yeah, I love it. I ain't going to cap to you. I really do love the 300 platform. And I'm not keeping it, so y'all stop telling me to keep stuff. Bro, I have other plans. I have other ideas on down the line for cars that I'm going to keep. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the end of the day, I'm not falling in love with these cars. Because when I, you fall in love with them, then you get attached to them. You know what I'm saying? I get my content out the cars, and I get rid of them. These cars, most of the time, I bills only get a month and a half of good views when we get these cars, these new vehicles. Then after that, the views die down. I'm giving y'all some real game right now. When y'all go buy them new cars for YouTube, bro, and you stuck with that five-year bill, six-year bill, whatever bill, and the views go down after a month and a half of you buying the vehicle, and you only bought it just to get paid for good for that one month. That's why I tell you guys, man, this going to be the only bill I do over uh, 30 days, 35 days on. Um, I'm gonna give myself at least two months. You know what I'm saying with this build. I'm gonna give myself two months. God dang, man! Damn, ant just fell on me. I just don't go tree. God dang, man! Tripping. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna give myself two months with this build. I usually give myself 30 days to build a car. But I'm gonna give myself two months on this build. And uh we're gonna get it built within two months. So who's ready for that giveaway? Cause I'm finna start it sooner than y'all think. I start it sooner than y'all think now. So uh y'all just be ready for that date. You know what I'm saying? That I'm gonna set for it. So uh yeah. Cause one thing about me, bro, I'd rather buy stuff, build it on my channel, get the views off of it, get rid of it, start over fresh. They keep the content going, they keep the content flowing, they keep fresh content for y'all. For the people uh, that always want us to buy this car, buy that car, buy this car, buy that car, buy this car, buy that car. It's the only way we can do it, is by getting rid of a car and then go purchase another one starting over fresh. That's the only way we can do it, bro. We're not rich. You know, it's no way we can go buy a car every dang on week because y'all want us to. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to think of reality. I am in reality. I am not rich. I don't have it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to put it out there as that. I don't have it. So stop telling me to buy stuff every week or stop sending me so much stuff to buy. I don't have it. I do what I do 
on my end, I stay in my own lane. I do me. You know what I'm saying? I stay in my own lane and I do me. You know? Um, doing me got me this far. You know what I'm saying? Doing me got me this far, man. So, like I say, I appreciate y'all. Y'all know I love the support. And um, y'all already know, man. 300 bill is on the way. I'm gonna have to go buy me a water hose because, man, I gotta clean this joint. I ain't gonna cap to you. Today, I might go buy me a water hose. <laughs> real to real, don't have a water hose. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm probably gonna go buy me a water hose, man. We're gonna clean up the price of 300, probably. Yeah, we're gonna clean this joint up. Yeah, we're gonna clean this joint up. Definitely gotta clean it up. Yes, sir. Y'all see it. Yeah, look at little dirt back there. Look at future. Look at little dirt in future. Come on, man. Look at little dirt in future, man. Look dirt in future. I see your future. You finna come with it? You finna come with that pressure? Talk that talk. It ain't gonna be no time soon because I don't want money just sitting around. That y'all just don't understand my grind right now. I don't want money sitting around. When I use my money, I want to be able to get my money back. You know what I'm saying? You can't get your money back off car that just sit up because you like them and you love them and they yours and they in your garage and you your money is tied up in there and you can't get it back. That don't make no sense, bro. That's why it don't make no sense for no jewelry. Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And I go invest, put my money into some jewelry. What I'm going to get out of it? Let me know. What I'm going to get out of it right now? Exactly. Nothing. Shit. Nada. The jewelry I do got just sits in the house. Ain't making me no money. For real, bro. Y'all gotta think about that, man. Next time y'all go out and y'all buy something that's just gonna sit and not gonna make you no money. Let me know how much money you profit off that. <laughs> just let me know. You know? I feel like I can go cash out on any jewelry I want right now. Any jewelry I want right now. You feel me? This right here, if I just wanted to sell it right now, a good, with the transmission in there, a good 40, 50 ball. You know what I'm saying? A good 40, 50 ball for 426 SRT8. And these guns going for 40, right now i'm just saying if it was just regular stock srt but this a 426 with a whipple on it you know what i'm saying you got to give me a bit of 50 60 bands for this just all honesty you got to give me a bit of 50 60 bands bro come on bro stop playing with yourself another you can't even you know how many people that offer me 20k for little dirt and nigga I ain't budged yet I'm just finna tally this shit up for y'all right now. I'm finna tally this shit up for y'all right now. This is a cool 60 ball. 50-60 ball. 426 with a whip. Cool 60 ball with a racing transmission. This one right here. A good 25 ball. A good 25. Because I ain't, I got off of 20 and 22 and I ain't even sifted it. So I'm just giving y'all the facts. This is a cool 25 ball. All original with the sunroof. Original motor, Vogue's on the tires, no rust on the car, no whatsoever, period. Everything work on the antenna work, dash work, radio work, air work, AC running, pumping and jumping. None, none missing on it. None of these fillers cracked. None of that. All my chrome look excellent. All my chrome excellent. Not a scratch on it. Not a piece of rust on it. None on it. Come on, man. Tell that up. Bro, I got 10, 10K in this joint right now. Just the way it's sit. 10K. 10K. So 10K. 25 make 35. Right there. Know what I'm saying? That's 35. Then you got a whole 60 ball right here. That's 95,000. That's 95,000. And that's 
everything paid for right here. That's everything paid for right there. So stop playing when you come out to me. Because we ain't even talking about this thing right here. And we ain't said nothing about Big Boy Flipper. Come on now. Come on now. People got to start being realistic out there, man. When they start talking crap and doing this and doing that. And, um... Um, jury this, jury that. Why you ain't got jury and all that? I got jury. I'm I'm fine. I'm settled. You know what I'm saying? I can go get this shit whenever I feel like it, bro. I can go get bust down watches. I can go get Cartiers and all that shit. Them little cheap ass watches, bro. Them just be like 20k. So, bro, like, stop it, man. Stop playing. I'm dropping more than 20k on cars, bro. Stop it, bro. Like, that shit ain't gonna make me no money in the future. You go buy that $20,000 watch or whatever you wanna do. Them diamonds that's around it gonna make that bitch lose value. Go get you some shit that don't lose value. A fucking presidential, you know what I'm saying? Roll it with, you know what I'm saying? Just all original, no bust down, no no diamonds in it, no nothing. Then the value might go up. Go get you something that, that they stop making. Something that um, discontinue, cause the value gonna go up. Like, bro, y'all gotta start being smart out here, bro. I'm trying to be smart early, so I ain't gotta worry about that down the line, bro. So don't watch my pockets, bro. I'm just let y'all know right now, it's gonna hurt you trying to watch my pockets. <laughs> it ain't gonna be happy for it. You ain't gonna be happy. I'm telling you. Uh, watch somebody else. Watch your own. But uh, y'all already know what time it is. Your boy, real to real, man. Y'all already know. Your boy. Out with another one, man. Hey, man, say, man, hey, man. It's your boy, man. Real to real, man. If that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, don't hit bust it down, man. I'm out here like last year, man. Peace. She popped the sand, the bitch sleeping. My coat too fast, police deceive me.